Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And this year we've gotten to go out and see several different commissionings. Uh, in the past, we got to see the commissioning of uh, USS Savannah, the Latour combat ship. Prior to that, I got to see the commissioning of the uh, guided missile destroyer USS Sterrett. This year, we got to see the commissionings of both the new USS New Jersey, the nuclear submarine, and the new destroyer USS Bassalone. Getting to visit all of these commissionings and then knowing what happened at Battleship New Jersey's four commissionings over her career, today's video we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what, what are some of the standard things that happen during the commissioning of a ship. Commissioning of a ship is very important. It is when that ship becomes a member of the U.S. Navy. It's when the ship fully becomes accepted by the Navy and becomes a warship that can then be deployed and used actively. Commissioned ships fly commissioning pennants like this one. This artifact right here is one of the artifacts on loan to the battleship from Naval History and Heritage Command. It is uh, one of the battleship's World War II era commissioning pennants, and it is normally on display in the ship's captain's cabin. Part of the commissioning ceremony is raising the commissioning pennant to show that the ship is a commissioned member of the United States Navy. Commissioning is in many ways a multi-week process with all sorts of other events happening around it. We're going to talk specifically about some of the standard features of the ceremony itself. These ceremonies tend to run about two hours long and oftentimes they will include a tour of the ship afterwards for attendees. These ceremonies are ticketed and by invite only, uh, although there are ways to request tickets and there are certainly ways Obviously, the crew can get on board, and there are ways for the crew to get their family at those ceremonies as well. Oftentimes, where possible, the commissioning takes place somewhere relevant to the ship or the ship's namesake. So when I got to visit USS Sterrett's commissioning, Sterrett was an officer who had served on USS Constellation, and we actually towed USS Constellation, the museum ship I was working on at the time, to where Starrett was berthed in Baltimore Harbor and had the two ships moored bow to bow and uh, they participated in the ceremony together. USS New Jersey had her ceremony here in the state of New Jersey. Uh, USS Bassalone went to New York because that pier is the common place that is used. Savannah wasn't able to be commissioned in Savannah, Georgia, but she was commissioned nearby in Brunswick, Georgia. The executive officer usually serves as the MC of the ceremony. Like many other military ceremonies, it starts with things like the national anthem. Uh, there's usually a band playing while folks get to their chairs. The ceremony usually involves a battery of speakers. It starts with local politicians. Usually it's politicians related to where the uh, ceremony is taking place. Sometimes it's politicians related to uh, where the individual is from or where the, the ship's namesake is from. Some of the folks involved in shipbuilding make some of the presentations. The, the shipyard that delivers the ship usually has a representative there who gives a speech. The uh, ship's sponsor, of course, makes a speech. Sometimes that sponsor is related to the ship, like uh, for USS Sterrett. They had a descendant of USS Sterrett as the sponsor. Uh, and sometimes they're more political appointees. Usually there are senior military people present. Uh, oftentimes the person whose uh, command the ship is going to be under, not the captain of the ship, obviously they're there, but like the admiral whose district the ship is going to be under. Uh, the most recent two commissions we went to, Secretary of the Navy Del Toro was there, although the Secretary of the Navy isn't necessarily part of every commissioning. A large part of the ceremony is when the captain comes out and reads his orders to the senior person present. Again, sometimes it's Secretary of the Navy, sometimes that's the person who's going to be uh, his immediate superior. From Commander Navy Personnel Command to Commander Stephen Holley, United States Navy, subject pupil's order number 9580 of 14 December 2022. One directed by reporting senior, detached from present duty, and report to pre-commissioning unit, New Jersey and report as prospective commanding officer. Upon commissioning of New Jersey, report for duty as commanding officer. And then at that point, he's given the order to place the ship in commission. Admiral Houston, United States ship New Jersey is in commission and I am in command. 
very well. Thank you, sir. Throughout the ceremony, most of the crew, not counting watchstanders and security personnel, are lined up on the pier at attention. When the ship is brought to life, the crew gets to run on board to their stations. And really most of them end up manning the rail, although a few go to their stations. And usually as part of this process of bringing the ship to life, it's when the commissioning pennant is raised, it's when the national ensign is raised, and it's when they start to rotate guns or radar antennas. Uh, at Barcelona, the, the five inch gun and the phalanx are rotated. Um, on the submarine New Jersey, they rotated the periscopes. They also sound all of the ship's alarms, followed by the ship's whistle to show the crowd that the ship is now fully alive. The ceremony usually ends the same way it begins, and I forgot to mention this individual near the beginning, but the chaplain makes an invocation. Leadership that our loyalty may never be slack and our courage never wanting, especially in the day of battle, be close to us. If we are inclined to doubt, study our faith. If we are tempted, make us strong to resist. If we should miss the mark, give us courage to try again. And then uh, the ceremony breaks up, and oftentimes they'll have uh, a table open to sell stuff from the ship's store, the proceeds of which go back into the welfare morale fund for the ship. This is a new ship, so they're now buying new thing, televisions for the birthing compartments or decorations for the mess decks or weight equipment for the gym, stuff like that. Uh, also, there's usually a reception hosted afterwards. Uh, usually local restaurants donate food for the, uh, the reception. And then oftentimes there are tours of the ship, usually just main deck or, or uh, certainly not as in-depth as you get when you go to a museum ship, but these are now fully active vessels. Have you ever gotten to go to the commissioning of a ship? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. It allows us to travel and participate in the ongoing lives of uh, US Navy ships. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.